made so many pound cakes, we've kind of evolved them. Uh, ah. I don't know if I see it in a magazine. Uh, my grandmother and my mom, they always cook a lot of pound cakes. Uh -huh. Pound it's cake so is much, great, isn't it's it? It's the best You can have ever. it for breakfast, for Absolutely. lunch, for yeah, dinner. Really you can have it with a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. a glass of milk. I love it. All right, it's let's really get good. started doing okay, it. Okay, well, what we're going to do first is, uh, Kelly, if you want to, we'll start here. Just mm -hmm. take your butter and cut it up real quick. Cut it up. Yeah, just, I'm there you go. That's that this soften. This is two cups of salted butter. And Reese, if you want to dump this in there. Dump it right in here. there is half a cup of shortening. Yes, sir. Dump that in here. Shortening. Shortening. The flavor of the south right there. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to mix all that together and kind of uh -huh. cream it up, okay? And Boy, that uh, looks sweet already, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it's so okay. good. It's, so it's good. always good to have these things at room temperature, right? Yeah, because it makes it easier to yeah. work with. Now you add cold. sugar gradually. Yes, sir. Go ahead and add your sugar just gradually, a little bit at a just time. Just a little bit of the time there in there. There you go. Keep going a little more. You might have to eat some little sugar. A little more. There you go. Let me help you out here. Thank you. Great job. Look at that. Mix Thank like you, a Mike. Look at there. Look at there. And you just want to gradually mix all this in. Boy, how many calories do we have now? We so don't need to know. We're we don't up to even zero know. calories. Yeah, this is all low fat, no carbs, <laughs> right. no sugar. That's fake sugar. Yeah, this is just for real. Uh, now we thing. add one egg at a time. Yes, sir. Add them in gradually. Uh, right in there. Yes, sir. That's fine. Just dump them right in there, and uh, we're gonna mix them in. How many? That's that's good right want? now. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna mix in some flour along this too. And what you want to do is you want to gradually mix the eggs and the flour. It makes it easier. To so you don't want to use a blender. You like to no, use no, no, a No, no, no. You can't use a blender. If no you blender. use a blender, you miss the key thing that goes into it. Okay. okay. The key thing is love. Love. Oh, oh, you do it by hand, it makes yeah. it personable. You oh. make love, love okay? to his short. And that's what we say all the guys at work we make. All of this? Might want to, yeah, you might want to add some eggs in there. Let me help you out. All right. I know Kelly's How you doing, Kelly? Getting tired? I, so I'm, I'm, I'm small, but I'm mighty. Look at that. Dynamite comes in small packages, right? That's right. Thank you, Michael. At least we're getting good mix. Okay. At least we know we're getting somewhere. One more? Yes, sir. Just keep adding those eggs in there. I'm killing myself adding eggs. You're doing wonderful. Look at you. Look at there. <laughs> we, yeah. we don't even have but one shell in there. Hold on, man. Let me get that out of there. That oh my gosh. That's not my shell. That was your shell I saw coming out. Right, so we're doing pretty good here. You're doing great. But I still Thank see you, some uh, citrus soda here, too, Mike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another key That's thing. That's a key ingredient, Yeah. Right? What was that? What Should we add it in there? Dropped an egg. Oh, Not yeah. yet. We'll okay. get it mix this a little bit more. But, yeah, you can add uh, any of your favorite flavored citrus soda in there. And you're going to take six ounces of that. Dump it in. We can go ahead and add it there in. There it is right Just there. Just pour it in. Oh. Yeah, look at there. All right. Now be careful, Kelly. I don't want you to sling it all over you. Okay? I'm not going to sling. sling out I know. And then also we need to add the uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Here's the vanilla. One that. There you go. Mix that in. And then we have one teaspoon one of lemon teaspoon extract. One teaspoon of lemon going mm. in. And add it in. And look, you see how it's getting together? And that's when you get all that mixed together, this is what it'll look like right here. Oh, my so God. So we're going to take this. When does it become that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot it's of work here. Look at that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this. That's good. You can set that aside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys to do this here. Now, who wants to turn the pan and who wants to pour the batter? Um, what do you want to do, Reed? I want to pour the batter. You want to pour the batter? Yeah. Okay, you're going to pour in here, Reed. This is very bad. Pour it right in there. Yeah, Kelly, hold on one second. Kelly, you're going to spin the <laughs> pan. There you go. And oh. you want to take that pan and you want to butter it real good with butter, okay? Yeah. And get coat it really well. And then you're going to add flour to it, just a right, dust, light sprinkle dust of flour. It, right? Just a dusting, correct. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want to get that in there? Look how nice I'm doing this. You're doing awesome. It's all about me. Take that air, Regis, and your Kelly, she's going to do it for you. How about that? All right, Pip. Y'all are like the dynamic duo. Y'all have done this once or twice. We've done this once or twice. Let me help you out here. This is the best we've ever done, though. You're doing fine. Look at that. You're getting the most out of us, Michael. <laughs> That's good. Know. That's what I like. That's one. All right. There all right. you go. That's close up. Now, once we get that, we're going to tamp it down just a little bit. We don't want any air pockets in. We don't want our cake collapsing right. or anything. So then we're going to take that. We're going to put it right in here. We're going to make a cake out of it, huh? Yeah, we're going to bake it. How long you leave it in there? An hour and 15 minutes at 325 degrees. You know what's right? so funny? We're doing this right now, and, and I keep thinking something's missing, something's missing. What's missing is my kids getting into a fist fight over who gets to uh, lick the bowl. Exactly. I know. I'm like, is where's this the fist tasty? fight? And where's it's the, the same thing at the fire station. They're like oh, a pack of dogs yeah, waiting pack to get of that dogs. That's right. Right. Now we're going to make the ice. We're going to make the ice now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take two cups of confectioner's sugar. Uh, all right? My favorite. Yeah. Then you got to have two tablespoons of melted butter. Mm -hmm. Regis, if you want to pour that sure. in here, and okay. Kelly will start mixing. And then we're going to take your two ounces of your citrus soda that you use in the cake also. Right. And you're going to mix this in, and you're going to watch the transformation here. It's kind of matching what the uh, cake is. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, the, it marries the flavors together. You know, it makes a nice, you know, little thing here. This is how the drizzle gets That's formed. exactly right. And it, it'll come out like this, but you want to stir it in there. All right, once we get it in there, since we've got a cake ready here, we're going to go ahead. That's good, Kelly. We're going to drizzle that. Oh, there it is. Right over top of the cake here. Well, Matt, what's out your nice. drizzling technique? Well, it's
Yeah. Here we go. And you're just going to drizzle it over the cake there? Yours looks, I like the way you drizzle. You're a good drizzler. <laughs> I've been I called a lot of things, never a good drizzler. I don't, drizzle, I don't have a good drizzle technique. Uh, You've yeah. got to try all of our featured firefighters' recipes yeah, at home, and then you there, vote yeah. for your favorites. At the end of the summer, the cook-off winner will walk away with $10,000 like yeah. and be featured in Better Homes and Gardens magazine. And our audience tasters have been given a sample of the dish. Mm. Tasters, are you ready in the studio? Uh, Y'all ready for All right, begin You're tasting ready. right now. And okay? we are ready for our slice. Good. Hey, you did a nice job there. You ready? Oh, my gosh. Now, you got to have so a big good. PC. We call this I know, right we here. just finished knocking off three pizzas. You know? Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's okay. We save room. We save room. We call these wheel chalk portions. Mm -hmm. That's what we call them at the station. So. All right. What's it called? Wheel chalk portions. Wheel chalk Big portions. trucks have a big block you put under the tire to keep it from rolling. So that's how we get the wheel chalk portions. Boy, this is good. Mm. Right. Very good. Aww. When we come back, the taste is going to use their special remote control devices. They're going to rank the dish. We'll tell you the score. Okay? That's a real treat. Thank you. Mm. See you later. Live's Coast to Coast Firehouse Cook-Off is brought to you by Bush's Grill and Beans. Go online and vote for a chance to win our ultimate grilling experience trip to New York, which includes live tickets, dinner at Daisy Mays Barbecue, a copy of Adam Perry Lang's new cookbook, and a gift pack of Grill and Beans. If you'd like to try any of our Coast to Coast Firehouse Cook-Off recipes, just log on to our website, vote for your favorite, and you can win a trip to New York City. Live returns in a moment.